bring in Scott Reed. He is our CTV News political commentator. Scott, good to have you with us. Susan Holt has become New Brunswick's first female premier. Is this about what the Conservatives have done wrong or what the Liberals are doing right? Uh, a little of both, but mostly the former. And, and in that, there's some lessons and some clues about what might else come in politics in the months to come. Um, look, uh, Blaine Higgs had been in power for a little bit. He was always the sort of leader and sort of premier that split opinion, uh, you know, hard to the right originally with the Confederation of Regions Party. So, you know, he literally was the sort of leader you either were for or against. He'd been in power for a time. And as we know right now, there's a pretty substantial anti-incumbent mood. Against all of that, Susan Holt really did position herself as a breath of fresh air. She's only been involved in politics really for the past year, only been in the legislature for the past eight months. And really, as your point, uh, as, as your report mentioned, really zeroed in on health care. And I think that was in many ways the secret to her success. She made it clear that that was her top priority, whereas Higgs, it wasn't obvious that it was. And I think that harmed him at the ballot box. The Liberals winning a majority, uh, was that expected? You know, it's really hard to read the tea leaves on this one. There isn't a lot of accurate polling that comes out of New Brunswick, not a lot of it done, period. And that, um, which does occur, can be difficult to rely upon because the province is so you know, divided between French and English ridings. And it really makes it a, a peculiar and interesting place to practice politics and very dangerous for us pundits who are trying to make predictions. But I think by the end of the campaign, there was a clear view that uh, Higgs's campaign was sagging. Uh, the Holt was on the march. And here we go. As you say, it's a historic win. We've never had a female premier in the uh, province of New Brunswick uh, before. And uh, big change on election night. Now, Higgs made that controversial uh, decision last year to require teachers to ask parents before they use the preferred pronouns of transgender students under 16. And uh, Susan Holt promised a uh, liberal government would change that policy. Do you think that resonated enough with voters uh, in order for this change to have happened? I think it did play a part, and, and but maybe not in the way that folks might just assume and it isn't only about where do you stand on that issue about teachers informing students and the, the focus on transgender issues and so on and so forth it really was to many new brunswickers it created so much controversy created so much um, focus and it drew so much interest and energy and i think a lot of new brunswickers came away with the impression that maybe that was a more important uh, priority for the premier than bread and butter issues. And certainly when, you know, Susan Holt bursts into the scene and focuses rigorously on health care and says, instead of talking about, you know, bathrooms and gender and pronouns and informing teachers and parents, why don't we actually get people a doctor? That I think rang a lot of bells and it left Higgs, oddly enough, uh, standing on the margins a bit. What will Blaine Higgs's legacy be? Um, Probably that of uh, a sound financial manager, fiscal manager. They kept a reasonably tight handle on uh, the province's finances. I, I'm not certain it will be a glorious, long-lasting legacy, uh, to be honest. I do think he'll be remembered as, a, as uh, an atypical politician, uh, given his background with the Confederation of Regions Party. It re really was, in some ways, a bit of a takeover uh, from further to the right. I think, you know, we'll see how Susan Holt does as premier, but I think her campaign is more likely to be studied, at least in the near term. I mean, we are going to be watching other provinces, including probably Nova Scotia, we're going to see an election call very soon, battling over this issue of the provision of core health care services. In Ontario, you see that debate starting to take shape. I think it's going to be critical in the next election. So I think that's going to be the real legacy, not so much what Blaine Higgs did over the last year, but this campaign uh, that just happened happened here in the last month. That is our time. I've got more questions, but uh, we'll have to leave it there. Scott, thank you as always for being here. Great chatting with you. Thanks an awful lot. See you.